Hi dear children, welcome to today's class. Today we are going to continue exercise 5.1, third question. For the following APs, write the first term and the common difference. First is of question. 3, comma, 1, comma, minus 1, comma, minus 3, comma, etc. So we need to write the first term and the common difference. First term that is A is equal to 3. And common difference, common difference D is equal to, you can take the difference of any two consecutive terms. Okay, either you can take 1 minus 3 or minus 1 minus 1 minus 3 minus minus 1. You can take the common dif difference of any two consecutive terms because it is given in our question for the following APs. So, this is AP that is understood from the question. So, if you took any uh, if you took the difference of any two consecutive terms, you will get the same answer. So, I am going to take a2 minus a1, that is 1 minus 3 is equal to minus 2. And second one, minus 5, minus 1, 3, 7, etc. So, a is equal to minus 5, d is equal to a2 minus a1 is equal to second term minus first term that is minus 1 plus 5 is equal to 4 so the common difference here it is 4 now third sub question 1 by 3 comma 5 by 3 comma 9 by 3 comma 13 by 3 comma etc 1 by 3 comma 5 by 3 comma 9 by 3 comma 13 by 3 etc so a is equal to 1 by 3 and D is equal to 5 by 3 minus 1 by 3. That is equal to 4 by 3. A is equal to 1 by 3. And D is equal to A2 minus A1. That is equal to 5 by 3 minus 1 by 3 is equal to 4 by 3. Fourth sub question. Fourth one. 0 0.6 comma 1.7 comma 2.8 comma 3.9 comma etc. Here the first term A is equal to 0 0.6 and D is equal to A2 minus A1 that is equal to 1.7 minus 0 0.6 is equal to 1.1. So the common difference for this AP that is equal to 1.1 and the first term 0 0.6. Six. Now, fifth one, the fourth question, which of the following are APs? If they form an AP, find the common difference D and write three more terms. Okay. Which of the following are APs? That means it is not given to us the given list of numbers forms an AP. We need to check whether it forms an AP or not. But in the last problem, it is given that the given list of numbers forms an AP. That is the difference between the third question and the fourth question. In fourth question, we need to check whether it forms an AP or not. Okay, if it forms an AP, we need to write the common difference and three more terms. So, fourth question, the first sub question, 2 comma 4 comma 8 comma 16 etc. First, we need to check whether it forms an AP or not. So, we need to check, uh, take the difference of consecutive terms. So, A2 minus A1 is equal to 4 minus 2 is equal to 2. A3 minus A2 Third term minus second term. That is 8 minus 4 is equal to 8 minus 4 is equal to 4. And A4 minus A3. That is equal to 16 minus 8 is equal to 8. Okay, by taking these two difference, we can conclude that A2 minus A1 not equal to A3 minus A2. Therefore, this mm, the list of numbers does not form an AP. Okay, so this is a2 minus a1 not equal to a3 minus a2. So, we can conclude that this is not an AP. Now, second one. Second one. 2 comma 5 by 2 comma 3 comma 7 by 2. 2 comma 5 by 2 comma 3 comma 7 by 2. So, here second term minus first term. 5 by 2 minus 2. 
5 by 2 minus 2 that is equal to 1 by 2. Now a3 minus a2 that is equal to 3 minus 5 by 2 is equal to 1 by 2. Now a4 minus a3 7 by 2 minus 3 that is also we will get it as 1 by 2. Here we got all the differences are equal to 1 by 2. So in general we can say that ak plus 1 minus ak is equal to 1 by 2. Therefore this list of numbers forms an AP with the first term 2 and the common difference 1 by 2. Now we need to write 3 more terms. Fourth term is 7 by 2. So the next term is 7 by 2 plus 1 by 2. 7 by 2 plus 1 by 2 is 4. This is our fifth term. Now, sixth term, 4 plus 1 by 2 is equal to 9 by 2. And seventh term, 9 by 2 plus 1 by 2 is equal to 5. Third question. Minus 1.2 comma, minus 3.2 comma, minus 5.2 comma, minus 7.2 comma etc minus 1.2 1.2 comma minus 3.2 comma minus 5.2 comma minus 7.2 comma etc here also we are going to take the difference a2 minus a1 is equal to minus 3.2 minus minus 1.2 and that is minus 3.2 plus 1.2 equal to minus 2 now a3 minus A2 is equal to minus 5.2 minus minus 3.2. That is minus 5.2 plus 3.2. That is also minus 2. Now A4 minus A3 is equal to A4 minus A3 is equal to minus 7.2 minus minus 5.2. That is also we will get it as minus 2. So in general ak plus 1 minus ak is equal to minus 2. So the given list of numbers forms an AP with the common difference d equal to minus 2. d equal to minus 2. Now we need to find three more terms. That is a5 is equal to a4 plus d. Minus 7.2 plus minus 2. Minus 7.2 plus minus 2. That is minus 9.2. And A6 is equal to minus 9.2 plus minus 2. It's equal to minus 11.2. And A7 is equal to minus 11.2 plus minus 2. It's equal to minus 13.2. Now fourth one. Fourth question, fourth sub question. Minus 10, minus 6, minus 2, 2, etc. Minus 10, minus 6, minus 2, 2, etc. Here A2 minus A1, that is equal to minus 6 minus minus 10, it is equal to 4. And A3 minus A2, it is equal to minus 2 minus minus 6 is equal to 4. And A4 minus A3, that is equal to 2 minus minus 2 is equal to 4. So here, all the differences are equal to 4. So in general, AK plus 1 minus AK is equal to 4 and it forms an AP. The next term, the last term or the fourth term, that is 2. Then the fifth term is 2 plus, here the D is equal to 4. 2 plus 4 is equal to 6. And A6 is equal to 6 plus 4 is equal to 10. And A7 is equal to 10 plus 4 is equal to 14. Next one. Fourth one. 3 comma 3 plus root 2 comma 3 plus 2 root 3 comma 3 plus 3 3 plus 2 root 2 comma 
3 plus 3 root 2 comma etc. 3 comma 3 plus root 2 comma 3 plus 2 root 2 comma 3 plus 3 root 2 comma etc. So a2 minus a1 that is equal to 3 plus root 2 minus 3 it is equal to root 2 and a3 minus a2 that is 3 plus 2 root 2 minus 3 plus root 2 is equal to 3 plus 2 root 2 minus open this bracket then minus 3 minus root 2 we will get plus 3 and minus 3 get cancelled 2 root 2 minus root 2 that is root 2 now a4 minus a3 is equal to 3 plus 3 root 2 minus 3 plus 2 root 2 it is equal to 3 plus 3 root 2 minus Open this bracket minus 3 minus 2 root 2 and it is equal to root 2. That means a k plus 1 minus a k is equal to root 2 or this forms an a p with common difference d is equal to root 2. Now we need to find 3 more terms. a 5 is equal to 3 plus 3 root 2 plus root 2 that is equal to 3 plus 4 root 2 and a 6 is equal to 3 plus 4 root 2 plus root 2 is equal to 3 plus 5 root 2 and a 7 is equal to 3 plus 5 root 2 plus root 2 equal to 3 plus 6 root 2. Next question. Zero point two, comma zero point two two, comma zero point two two two, comma zero point two 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 two, comma etc. A two minus A one. We are going to take the difference of consecutive terms. So, A2 minus A1 that is 0 0.22 minus 0 0.2 is equal to 0 0.02 and A3 minus A2 is equal to 0 0.222 minus 0 0.22 is equal to 0 0.002. Just look at this. We can see that A2 minus A1 not is equal to A3 minus A2. Therefore, the given list of numbers does not form an AP. Seventh one. 0, comma, minus 4, comma, minus 8, comma, minus 12, comma, etc. 0, comma, minus 4, comma, minus 8, comma, minus 12, comma, etc. So, A2 minus A1 is equal to minus 4, minus 0 is equal to minus 4. A3 minus A2 minus 8 minus minus 4 is equal to minus 8 plus 4 is equal to minus 4. And A4 minus A3 is equal to minus 12 minus minus 8 is equal to minus 12 plus 8 is equal to minus 4. That means AK plus 1 minus AK is equal to minus 4. And it forms an AP with common difference D is equal to minus 4. Now A5 is equal to a4 plus D minus 12 plus minus 4 that is equal to minus 16 and A6 is equal to minus 16 plus minus 4 is equal to minus 20 and A7 is equal to minus 20 plus minus 4 is equal to minus 24. Next one. 8th one minus 1 by 2 comma 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 etc. A2 minus A1 minus 1 by 2 minus minus 1 by 2 equal to 0. Okay, just look at these terms we have 
same terms as the first one, second one, third one and the fourth one. So the, if you took the distances, you will get 0 only. So A3 minus A2, that is also 0. A4 minus A3, 0. Because A4 and A3, they are equal. Then if you took the difference, you will get 0. And here we have same difference for all the consecutive terms. So AK plus 1 minus AK is equal to 0 or D equal to 0. Thus forms an AP with common difference D is equal to 0. Then what will be the next three terms? That is also minus 1 by 2. So A5 is equal to minus 1 by 2. A6 is equal to minus 1 by 2. And A7 is equal to minus 1 by 2. Because actually this is constant arithmetic progression. We have same value as first term second term third term fourth term and all the terms are is equal to all the terms is equal to minus one by two next one one three nine twenty seven comma etc a two minus a one three minus one equal to two a3 minus A2, 9 minus 3, that is equal to, what is 9 minus 3, equal to 6. We can conclude that A2 minus A1 not equal to A3 minus A2, therefore this does not form an AP. Tenth one. A comma, 2A comma, 3A comma, 4A comma, etc. A comma, 2A comma, 3A comma, 4A comma, etc. Then A2 minus A1, that is 2A minus A equal to A. A3 minus A2, 3A minus 2A is equal to A. A4 minus A3, 4A minus 3A is equal to A. So in general, AK plus 1 minus AK is equal to A. Therefore, this forms an AP with D is equal to A. Now, A5 is equal to 4A plus A is equal to 5A. A6 is equal to, A6 is equal to A5 plus D. That is 5A plus A is equal to 6A. And A7 is equal to 6A plus A is equal to 7A. Eleventh the question. A a square a cube a raised to 4 comma etc a a square a cube a raised to 4 comma etc so a2 minus a1 that is equal to a square minus a a square minus a a is common that we can take it outside then in the first term a will remain and the second term one a into a minus 1 now a3 minus a2 that is a cube minus a square a square is common take it outside then the first term a and the second term one will remain now just look at these two differences and the first one we have a and then the second one we have a square so we can conclude that a2 minus a1 not equal to a3 minus a2 therefore this does not forms an ap Next one, root 2, root 8, root 18, root 32, comma, etc. Then A2 minus A1 is equal to root 8 minus root 2, root 8 minus root 2. And this is equal to this root 8, we can write it as root into root of 4 into 2 minus root 2 equal to 4, we can take it outside of the root then that is 2 root 2 minus root 2 2 root 2 minus root 2 equal to root 2 a3 minus a2 a3 is root 18 minus root 8 root 18 we can write as root of 9 into 2 minus root of 4 into 2 9, take it outside of the square root, then that is become 3 root 2. And 4, if you took outside of the square root, then that is 2, then 2 root 2. 3 root 2 minus 2 root 2 is equal to root 2. Now, A4 minus A3, root 32 minus 
root 18 root 32 minus root 18 root 32 we can write it as 16 into 2 root of 16 into 2 minus root of 9 into 2 equal to 4 root 2 minus 3 root 2 equal to root 2 that means ak plus 1 minus ak is equal to root 2 so this list of numbers forms an ap with common difference d is equal to root 2 now this next term a5 is equal to root 32 plus root 2 root 32 plus root 2 and what is this root 32 root 32 is 4 root 2 right so 4 root 2 plus root 2 is equal to 5 root 2 4 root 2 plus root 2 is equal to 5 root 2 or that we can write it as root of 25 into 2 right 25 if you took it outside of the square root then that is become 5 root 2 so root of 25 into 2 that is root 50 root of 25 into 2 that is root 50 and a6 is equal to actually that is a5 plus root 2 and a5 i am going to take this expression that is 5 root 2 plus root 2 is equal to 6 root 2 and thus we can write it as root of 36 into 2 is equal to root 72 now a7 is equal to a6 plus root 2 equal to a6 i am going to take this one 6 root 2 plus root 2 is equal to 7 root 2 is equal to square root of 49 into 2 equal to square root 98. Next one. Root 3, root 6, root 9, root 12, etc. So A2 minus A1 that is equal to root 6 minus root 3 root 6 minus root 3 and this root 6 we can write it as root of 3 into 2 minus root 3 and this is equal to root 3 into root 2 minus root 3 now take root 3 common then it is root 2 minus root 3 into root 2 minus 1 now a 2 minus a3 minus a2 is equal to root 9 minus root 6 is equal to root 9 we can write it as 3 into 3 minus root 6 we can write it as 3 into 2 and this just split it like root 3 into root 3 minus root 3 into root 2 now root 3 is common take it outside and the first term root 3 will remain and the second term root 2 will remain just look at these two differences. We can see that a2 minus a1 not equal to a3 minus a2. Therefore, this does not form an AP. Next question. 1 square comma 3 square comma 5 square comma 7 square etc. a2 minus a1. 1 square minus 3 square. That is 1 minus 9 is equal to a. Sorry, 3 square minus 1 square that is 9 minus 1 is equal to 8 and a3 minus a2 is equal to 5 square minus 3 square that is 25 minus 9 equal to 16. So, a2 minus a1 not equal to a3 minus a2 therefore the list of numbers does not form an AP. Last one. 1 square comma 5 square comma 7 square comma 73 etc a2 minus a1 is equal to 5 square minus 1 that is 25 minus 1 is equal to 24 now a3 minus a3 minus a2 is equal to 7 square minus 5 square that is 49 minus 25 is equal to 24 and a4 minus a3 is equal to 73 minus 7 square that is 73 minus 49 is equal to 24. Therefore, ak plus 1 minus ak is equal to 24 or this forms an ap 
with d is equal to 24. The next term a5 is equal to 73 plus 24 is equal to 97 and a6 is equal to 97 plus 24 is equal to 121 and a7 is equal to 121 plus 24 is equal to 145.